All Out took place September 4th, 2020, and FTR got to win the old AEW Tag Team titles from Hangman Page and Kenny Omega. And from that point on, you're the champs. It's happened. FTR's come in. FTR's got the championships. What was the plan as you saw it, as you heard at that moment? You win the titles. You know what's coming up next. You know the Bucks are coming up next. What do you know? What do you think is going to happen? So real quick, uh, first of all, the match with uh, Hangman uh, and Omega from that pay-per-view was probably the most difficult match Cash and I've ever had. Um, we went 35 minutes, I believe, some, between 30 and 35 minutes. And as you know, by that time, we were, uh, we were performing at Daly's Place. And that's an outside amphitheater, right? And we're in the middle of Florida, and it is hot as hell and right. humid as hell. And I think the humidity that day was, I'm not kidding, I think it was about 96 or 97%, uh, which is so thick. It makes it hard to breathe. Um, and we had to, you know, we were scheduled to go half an hour, maybe a little bit more than half an hour. And that was physically the hardest match I've ever had. I'm not kidding when I say that cash went blind in the match towards the end of the match you you, you get oxygen deprivation and like you get these spots in your eyes and he could not see he couldn't he couldn't see anything we got our belts after the match went to the back and we were getting pulled in this direction and that direction for uh for social media and they needed pictures for the, with us for the belts and the there was an interview person that wanted some words with us and cash just after a while he kindly kind of just freaked out and he said i can't see give me a second so even to the point when we were in the back he was still like having the effects of that um that was physically the hardest match i've ever had in my entire life because of the weather conditions um and the toll that it took on my internal body and it took me four days to get over that match it was so rough uh but you know you said <clears throat> we knew that the Bucks were next. We had no idea that's what we next. No idea. We didn't. We didn't know that was next. Um, what we wanted. I got this question a lot on Twitter using the hashtag FTR with Dax. Uh, you know, the, the question was, would you have rather waited, or was the plan to wait for fans to come back? And yes, that was the plan. The plan was to wait until fans came back to give them this match because the fans are the reasons this match had any sort of build, you know, had any sort of, of, of promise for a uh, spectacular uh, classic tag team match, because this is the match that they had, had asked for, for, for years. And up at that point, maybe four years, they had asked for this match. And um, so we felt an obligation to give it to a live audience. Um, but, you know, we were in the pandemic era then. Uh, 2020 was a weird, weird time. Watching it back today, I told my wife, I said, I can't believe that 2020 was a, a real time. You know, That's I can't right, believe that, right. that really happened. Um, but, you know, we had no idea when the COVID ban was going to be lifted, when fans could be back in the arena, when we could and perform in an in arena, you know. So, um, yeah, we had no idea going after we won the, the belts. I had no clue that the, the Bucks were getting the belts next. <laughs> 